considered to be the most neutral stage. Oh, okay, we're seeing the Robin out of Selja. And, uh, Isn't that normal, though, or...? Uh, I believe he switches between Robin and Falcon in this oh, game, but to be it's... honest, I'm not entirely sure. So Cloud is, you know, a lot of people complain how Cloud's, like, not as good as he was before, but he still has stuff. It's just people have to, all the Cloud mains had to, like, learn him slightly different. And if you're doing that, then you might as well just, you know, learn one of the many new characters in this game. But Yeah, especially since he's not considered to be one of the top in uh, this game now. But it's looking like he, he kind of knows his stuff. He's definitely kind of dominating neutral, actually, at the moment here, but maybe that's just... So just needing to get like, used to this cloud attack, but possibly. It's also uh, I'm unsure of this matchup. This is not something that uh, commonly is seen. Right. So one of the things Cloud's got going for him is when he's got the limit filled. Uh, you know the the limit blade beam is going to go through and cut, just go through most of the Selja's projectiles, which you kind of saw there with that option. Yeah. Uh, so probably going to have to respect it as soon as he gets that uh, limit charged up. But the bigger problem is that once they can get Cloud off stage, then sell, then uh, Arc Fire is going to be a problem for Cloud trying to get back. The question is, will he let him do it? Yeah, right now hasn't really had him off stage too much, but as I say that, he is uh, trapped on here on ledge for the time being. That, oh, jab kill. Yeah, jab kill with the fire book. That is enough to kill. Kind of surprising. But I guess he wasn't using the jab earlier, so it wasn't really stale, but... With that said, uh, he's just a back air. Or, oh, excellent Ooh. chase. I didn't, didn't expect Nair would kill at that time, but... Yeah, but cool. uh, read the movement and got landed it perfectly. Now it's uh, even as much as it could be. Yeah, it's a lot more even than I thought it would be going into this. So this is great. I'm loving, yeah. uh, I'm loving these new, this new blood coming out and challenging the old guard and stuff. For sure. Nice grab during the charging of Arc Thunder. And yeah, just kind of like old Smash 4 Cloud. Just start racking up that damage with Cross Slash. Yeah. Once again, we're seeing him uh, take the early lead here. He did lose that first stock first, though, so we'll see if that's a repeat. But right there, the Qua Slash off stage. You know, it's funny. He just got Limit as he was, like, jumping off into that attack, too. So it was, like, excellent timing. Yeah. He, he knows his stuff. That is for sure. We might be seeing a bit of a hidden boss here coming out. I think so. All right, extending his lead already uh, with a more than full stock lead here. Yeah, this is really adding up. Scary. And nice now he has throw. him off stage, uh, not able to confirm too much out of it, but he continues to to dominate this neutral here. Yeah, it's, to be fair, it's very difficult to kind of like. It seems like you should be able to get robins, but man, that laps that uh, ledge snap's just too good sometimes. Oh, this yeah. is the spike. It's also pretty fast. Although maybe it was a dodge on Dead and Beats part. I like how he waited for the whiff on Cloud before he wanted to go in with his aerial. But you know, Selja's been in this position before, where we've seen him you know, almost down two stocks, like, right now, but, you know, he, as long as he's alive, he can come back, but... Yeah, as, uh, he's a veteran of the, of the area, of course, so he's played his fair share of matches. Not, uh, unaccustomed to pressure. But this is, a uh, an uphill battle for him, for sure, as he continues to rack up percent, but that is a nice arc thunder yeah, out there. Yeah, I think if he air dodged that, he would have got hit by the next follow-up, but... Takes the hit anyways. 100, you know, well, was 124, obviously, huh. but... Eating up a bit of that health back, but every little thing is gonna matter here, though. It's like it—it it all doesn't matter if you can't land the hit. Yeah, but uh, right now, again. so many, so many things can kill. I'm pretty sure that forward tilt could be enough right now. Cross right. slash? Yeah, cross slash at 170 Ooh. will definitely do it, even on vanilla one. All right, 1-0 for Deaton. Beat uh, a bit of a surprise here. Yeah, and even Selja looks like he's kind of surprised, too. Like, yeah. clowns are still in this game? I thought, <laughs> thought he was gone. Like, come yeah. on. They got rid of his this? hitboxes. I thought that meant he was dead. Yeah, exactly. But apparently yeah, they just not. They just made the hitboxes, like, a little, a little more fair and stuff. So <laughs> I was they playing, made them reasonable. I actually played it a little last night, and I uh, I was literally, like, pixels away every time a neutral oh. of, like, landing oh. like, punishes and stuff. And that Smash just, 4 spacing came yeah, back to bite you. And I was like, well, done with this, so... Okay, I guess he's staying with Robin, right. so he's going to go for a stage preference instead. Um, clouds have typically been a little worse on non-platform stages because of the up air abuse, even though up air is not as great here, but I feel like that's not why Dead Unbeat was winning those games last game. He was more just kind of doing the right exchanges. Yeah, he seems to be going for a platform stage here either way with uh, Smashville. He has that uh, you know platform in the middle, which is real nice for Robin. Okay, so it's a good compromise. Not too many for Cloud the High Under, so just the one. Yep. But with that said, 30% lead at this point. Yeah, it's just uh, once again, he continues to dominate neutral, so I'm curious if uh, he 
He's continuing to choose this Robin because maybe he figured something out. But uh, at this point, it's not looking good. I'm thinking Falcon's not as good. And there's that projectile trade I was kind of mentioning before with the Limit Cross. Um, I'm sorry, Limit Light Gleam. Man, this is definitely... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, like Falcon does not quite have the power uh, I felt like he had in Smash 4. But either way, MP continues to use this Robin. Uh, right now, it's it's still pretty even. A large hit from either one can't take the first stock, but that will be the big momentum shift. Momentum right. decider here. The thing is, Cloud's about to hit limit, and then you got limit cross slash you have to deal with. Although I've noticed he's been doing more limit blade beam. Oh, excellent setup. Getting the 11 sword kill. And it looks like. Okay, yeah, he's back. Almost looks like a little reversal of game one. Oh, no punish off the up B. Kind of surprising. Yeah, this is just about as it went, but uh, Deaton Beat was able to answer immediately in the last match. So right now that he's taking all this extra percent might uh, seal this game two instead for Sergio's favor. Yeah, I think he's starting to realize that Cloud's been doing a lot of unsafe down airs and stuff. Um, so it's kind of like... Uh, Sorry, he's just kind of like punishing in a little better. But going for yeah. that Nair setup that we saw last time, excellent down smash, though. Looks like the adjustments we were expecting from Zelja have been happening, just kind of more reactionary, it looks like. Yeah, hard to say so far. It did. Uh, he was losing at the first stock. But right now he's uh, got a solid lead for himself. The up air with 11 sword mm. is enough to take that second stock. Scary. And so we're now having a, a pretty solid... Oh. That was scary. Yeah, he, well, Cloud actually recovers a bit better in this game, I think, with the up B stuff compared to 4, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they made the snapping a little better. So oh, he pops him up with the uh, up B, I think, maybe saving him? Uh, he might have been fine I either think way. Was, I think he was barely fine, to be honest, but... Parry's the Arc Thunder to yep. prove a point. I don't know what that point is, but it was there. Oh, <laughs> uh, he ain't afraid, is what he's saying. Yeah, I guess. Saying he might be down a stock, but he knows he could take this game, too. Whoa, uh, a lot of hit excellent. lag on that. That was interesting. Gets his health back, but where's Selja going to land the kill? I guess he needs to build up a little more damage, but if he can stabilize, then he could definitely get the cloud up even higher percentages. Yep. Right now, see him playing a little bit safe, trying to make sure he can rack up as much as he can before. Ooh. Oh, he, it's, okay, so Blade Beam does shield poke a lot more in this game. That is one of the buffs he got. Or maybe it was just the universal nerf to shields in this game in general. True. But, but yeah, uh, it was that huge snap there, it's just a lot larger. He would have died in four, I think. Yeah, thankfully they, they kind of made him more balanced. He's not as a... Uh, a suicide. But wait. in the wrong direction, though. Yeah, unfortunately he was down a stock, so that doesn't quite work out for him. So now it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, we both got a game for both of these characters. Cell just seems to have figured something out, so we'll see if Deaton Beat can do something about that. I do like the decision Deed on Beat made because if Selja was not DIing up before he got hit, mm -hmm. um, Cloud would have survived first and that would have counted as a Dead on Beat. It's almost similar to like the Ike up B suicide oh, I stuff. See. Okay. Because like if you're underneath that blade, it does kind of shoot you down a bit mm -hmm. below Cloud and stuff. And it was, I've, I've definitely cheesed some games that way too. It's just, I think it was a good move when he's, you're at 140 anyway and he's at zero. Like, are you really yeah. going to. It's kind of like a black back throw, back. flare blitz yeah. sort of situation. Right. Um, All right so Cloud seeing... going the battlefield makes a lot of sense. It's definitely one of his better stages because of the... A, he can have the perfect timing with the uh, up east to do that stuff. And then if you do an up tilt underneath these platforms like you're seeing, you'll get lots of nares to up airs and stuff. But yeah. And certainly enjoying all these platforms he's got. As I say, that Selja seems to not care as he gets a pretty good lead already. Yep, but immediately firing back. And oh, oh, the spike! Ooh, wow, I did not wow. anticipate that. Uh, not Sick. <laughs> has not been throwing that out uh, this far in the set and uh, just, you know, throws it out there, gets an early stock lead in this match. Unfortunately for him, he is at 100, so he's in danger of losing that lead pretty quickly. Yep, yeah, but uh, he is continuing to pull forward nonetheless. Cross Once again, as good. I said, just plays unafraid. He knows he could die, but he still goes in there, gets the grab. I like what he's doing here. He's using, he's using limit to spook the opponent. Like, he might not even bust the move out. Like, maybe at the last... Like, oh, no. Ooh. That was bad on Selfish's part. Yeah, the unsafely landing on stage there. Yeah, and right in front up. of the limited cloud. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> just as we were saying, he might be scared of it, and he just jumps right into it. But, uh... <laughs> as this goes on... Ooh, oh, wow, no dodge. Kill. All right. I think he was expecting the snap, but... 
No dice. Soldier's got a lot of work, though. Yep, but still perfectly doable. Gains a... Uh, even set out a little bit, you know, losing the 15% and giving it to Deaton Beat instead. I'm like trying to see if... Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for. I was looking for, like, one of the one of the great things class can do is middle of the stage, do your up B. It's kind of, it's a lot safer than usual, especially if you get the hit because of, you know, the mm -hmm. landing lag ending a lot sooner on that top platform. Hmm. I think Soldier's trying to look for an opening where Cloud's going to mess up, but unfortunately the Cloud isn't really giving openings since he's got a pretty good lead right now. Yeah, and he's uh, doing well with his spacing, you know, keeping him out with those back airs. Still a strong move for Cloud in this game, and the down smash... Oh, he tried to punish Limit Cross. You can't do that, kid. <laughs> Oof. Like, Selja feeling the heat now. Mm -hmm. Down a full stock. Man, I like how Deadbeat did a down tilt and did not just do an immediate follow-up like most clouds do. He was, like, patient and just waiting to react to it instead. And so we're we're seeing here, though, like, this is a pretty solid solid adjustment for Deaton Bean and also a good stage choice. Both yes. work in his favor. Allowing him to accrue a solid lead here, getting some more extra percent as we speak. Makes me wonder what Soldier banned, because this is usually the go-to for Clouds. I don't know if there's a better one in this game or not, but... Yeah, perhaps uh, maybe the other Triplat Yoshi story. Hard to say for sure, of course. Okay, Ooh. nice 11 sword setup, but... It's oh, not enough, not, though. Not a kill? Come on. Surprising. <laughs> Cloud, not particularly heavy, but still able to eat that. It's too bad, because Selja keeps getting these reads on how Cloud's trying to recover into the stage anyway, and just, just not getting it. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, apparently yeah, I, was, yeah. uh, I was wrong earlier. Not Columbus area, Deaton Beat. He's from Dayton. Yeah, uh, they so travel a lot of her stuff sometimes, too, so it's... Yeah, I believe I have seen, on, seen him at uh, some Columbus events uh, here and there. Oh, good punish on the roll with the Nair there, but he's got to be careful. I like how he's playing Cloud in a way where he's not going to be in a position where he can get gimped easily like a lot of Cloud. Like, because, you know, Cloud's recovery is still hot garbage in this game, but. But, yeah, I I'm loving this. He's just. Ooh, catches him dropping shield with the back air, and that is wow. enough to take it. So we got Deaton beat uh, already with an upset in round one. Dang. Against Selja. This might be the prelude for how this tournament's going to go. Don't, don't yeah. expect anything here at Mage and stuff. As we